Hi everyone, my name is Sarah. You're very welcome back to Casha Library. For the next few weeks, we're going to read Halloween stories. And our first one today is called Bumps in the Night. This book is written by Alan Alberg, illustrated by Andre Amstutz and published by Puffin. In the dark, dark cellar of a dark, dark house, a little skeleton is reading a comic. In the dark, dark street, of a dark, dark town, a big skeleton is walking the dog. Then the big one hurries home and the little one hurries out and help, they go bump in the night. Send for Dr. Bones. In the dark, dark classroom of a dark, dark night school, a little skeleton is painting a picture. In the dark, dark workshop of the same night school, a big skeleton is making a chair. Then the little one takes his picture to show the big one, and the big one takes his chair to show the little one, and wow, they go bump in the night again. Send for Dr. Bones. The little skeleton and the big skeleton walk carefully to the park. They swing on the swings, throw a stick for the dog and play football. The leg bones connected to the foot bone, the little one sings. The foot bones connected to the ball. The head bones connected to the clonk, head bone, cries the big one. Send for Dr. Bones. The little skeleton and the big skeleton sit, but not too close together, in the dark, dark cellar. This is a dark, dark cellar, says the little one. Let's paint it. Good idea, the big one says. The big skeleton and the little skeleton paint the cellar, and now and then the dog. They paint the cellar red and green and blue and lots more colours. But it's still dark, the little skeleton says. Let's paint it white. So they paint it white. Where are we? They disappear. And you guessed it, go bump in the night. Send for Dr. Bones. After that, they go bump in the night playing tennis and bump in the night playing golf. They go bump, bump, bump in the night at the midnight fair. Give me Dr. Bones. And Dr. Bones sends for them. Come to the hospital, he says. The skeletons go to the hospital. Now, now, says Dr. Bones, this bumping has to stop. He taps them with his little doctor's hammer. And then, oh no, he goes bump in the night. Send for Mrs. Bones. In the dark, dark cellar, they painted it black again. Of a dark, dark house, a little skeleton is fast asleep. In the same cellar of the same house, a big skeleton is fast asleep too. There they are, tucked up and snug and safe at last from bumps in the night. Well, nearly. They bumped in their dreams. The end. Our second book today is called Pick Up a Pumpkin. It's written by Patricia Tote, illustrated by Jarvis and published by Walker Books. Pick Up a Pumpkin from the Patch. Tall and lean, or short and fat. Vivid orange, ghostly white, or speckled green might be just right. Pumpkin snuggly in your arms, wheel a wagon through the farm. Stop for mugs of spicy punch, toffee apples sweet to crunch. Homeward from the pumpkin patch, all your goodies stacked in back now. Nah. 
Brush or wipe your pumpkin clean, rub it smooth and make it gleam. Find the perfect carving space, lined with papers just in case you make a mess. Next. Gather other things you need, a bowl, a spoon for scooping seeds, a tool to trace a spooky face and plastic saws for cutting shapes. Then, Invite round a friend or two. Form a pumpkin carving crew. Let grown-ups cut the top a bit, big enough for hands to fit. Reach down deep into the hole, grab the seeds and give a pull. Lumpy chunks, sticky strings, clumpy seeds, guts and things. With a spoon, scrape sides neatly Clean the inside out completely. Now all together. Carve the eyes, giant circles of surprise. Small slit sleeping or one eye peeping. Cross-eyed crazy, angry, lazy. And below those, make a nose. A triangle, a pinprick, a nose that grows from thin to thick. Under the nose is where the mouth goes. A kiss, a frown, a toothy grin, a zigzag gap cut long and thin, a smirk, a snarl, an eerie O, oh, or pointy fangs all in a row. But wait! Before you light your new creation, first it's time for decorations. Cobwebs strung from post to post, rings of gauzy dancing ghosts, spiders, tombstones, dangling bats, skeletons and witches' hats. Now quick, slip on a gear to trick or treat and grab a sack to hold your sweets. Lift your pumpkin up with pride March it to a place outside. Set it safely to the ground and call the crew to gather round. Ask someone to strike a match. Watch the candle's wick will catch. See it glow outside your door. Look, it's not a pumpkin anymore. It's a... Jack-o'-lantern. It's red hot eyes will gaze and flicker. Its fiery grin will blaze and snicker to guard your house while you have fun. Happy Halloween, everyone. The end. Thanks for watching, everyone. And be sure to check out the rest of our stories and crafts on Facebook. Bye.